Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and on this channel, we're massive fans of WoW PvP, where we get to host numerous different classes and playstyles in our Fire 5 1 in 1 dueling series. And it gets especially exciting when we get to witness some of the strongest and the most surprising bursts within PvP. With the new resolve trinkets added in the patch 9.2, anyone can become nearly unstoppable in PvP for a short amount of time, letting some classes get away with some of the most complex and unique builds that deliver on the strongest, most explosive damage within PvP. And in today's video, I wanted to highlight some of the strongest burst builds for PvP that we have witnessed so far for the patch 9.2, in case you're looking for a fun new alt to jump into for battlegrounds or arenas. But right before we get into today's list, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as the bell if you're watching these videos anyway, especially if you want to catch regular patch 925 updates and changes, as well as potentially more future Dragonflight announcements. And the first class on this list will be the Frost Death Knight. The main playstyle most Frost Death Knights run is around the talent of obliteration, which gives you a very clear window for some killing machine obliterate crits. This build is going to try to make obliterates even deadlier, which is why we pick up inexorable assault for even more frosty bursts. Kultura's favor legendary further improves our obliteration potential damage. Together with the Necrolord Covenant, not only does a bomb limb tear your enemies to shreds, but with the Covenant Unity Legendary, targets maimed by the limb are now weaker to your burst. The Maryland Soulbind further amps up your frost damage mastery. Kevin Slime for even more damage output, and the trait of Preemptive Strike perfect for unsuspecting targets. Your tier set also adds even more Razor Glacier damage from your burst he obliterates that cleave multiple targets at once. When enemies are huddled together, you can run the talent of Chill Streak to give you even more natural cleave. With talents like Blinding Sleet and Dead of Winter, you'll be able to lock down multiple enemies at once. Altogether, this build makes a Frost Death Knight very effective against a singular foe, an even greater powerhouse against multiple targets. Of course, the Night Fate Druid had to make this list. There's nothing as sporadic and random and possibly as bursty as the ability of Convoke. What makes Convoke extra powerful for PvP is the ability to land back-to-back -back bites into a singular target, which is the core of the Night Fate Burst, which is why we'll be using talents of Sabertooth, Soul of the Forest, and Blood Talents to amplify the amount of damage your bite does in Burst. For our Soulbind, we'll be rolling Naya for even more mastery bite damage inside of Convoke. And for Conduits, you want to run Conflux of Elements to beef up Convoke even further. The Conduits of Instinct and Taste for Blood further above the potential damage of our bites. For this build, there's not a lot of synergetic legendaries for Feral Druid, but Eye of Fearful Symmetry can let you chain even more bites back to back following your Night Fake Convoke burst. And of course, we can't forget about your tier set, which provides you a massive bleed inside of your big burst window. Next class on this list is going to be the Marksmanship Hunter. And this class is looking to either amplify the damage of your aim shot or rapid fire, as both of these abilities can contribute to burst in various situations. The talent of careful aim is going to buff the potential damage of your aim shot, while streamline will bolster your rapid fire output. The talent of double tap can either make your rapid fire or aim shot extra deadly. The Necrolord Chakram ability will slice your target open, leaving them more vulnerable to physical damage. Flesh crafting with the Merylath Soulbind grants you bonus mastery, which contributes bonus damage to all of your abilities. The preemptive trait gets even more value with hunters, who can always get that opener shot thanks to camo. Brutal Projectiles Conduit will buff up your Rapid Fire, and Kevin Slime will provide a bonus to overall damage output. Your Burst is enhanced even further with the Necrolord Unity Legendary, which adds bonus explosive shot damage inside of your Death Chakram Burst. Finally, your tier set Trick Shot procs also buff the damage of either Aim Shot or Rapid Fire. Even though Marksmanship is not the most popular PvP spec for Hunter, it is still quite effective and extremely deadly. For the class of mage, all three specs are quite powerful. Arcane, Fire, and Frost are all able to unleash some of the strongest damage, though arcane mages have the potential for some of the biggest, though probably the most unrealistic, bursts within PvP. 
The talent of Arcanosphere is one of the hardest sending abilities in the game, available only to Arcane Mages. It will construct our build all around this ability. To amplify our burst damage even further, we'll be picking up the talents of Rune of Power as well as Overpowered. We'll also be using the Kyrian Covenant ability, where after applying Spark to a singular target, your fourth spell to that target will do maximum bonus damage. This Arcane Kyrian damage is amplified even further if you're using the Ire of the Ascended Conduit. To increase our chances of critting with this build, we'll be running the Clay Soul Binds and all of the crit traits. And finally, we'll be using the Siphon Storm Legendary to further amplify all our damage and abilities. What makes this build less realistic for PvP is the amount of telegraph setup, where the enemy clearly can tell exactly what you're trying to accomplish. When the enemy is aware of your strategy, they can usually easily counter it. Given Arcane Mages less chances to execute this burst within competitive PvP unless they get a ton of support with control from their team. Next class on this list is going to be the Assassination Rogue with the Night Fate Covenant, a playstyle that's incredibly powerful in the patch 9-5 even though it already saw some PvP tier set nerfs. Like every other cheesy PvP Rogue build, this one is also going to utilize the 100% crit legendary, granting the Rogue immense power whenever they stealth or vanish. This assassination build is going to utilize the talent of elaborate planning to further buff the damage output. Together with Night Stalker, we're going to set up a deadly strike from stealth. Mark for death to make this burst easier to set up. And hidden blades for even more phantom nice stopping power inside of our burst window. The Night Face Sepsis ability contributes a ton towards our burst damage and has a natural synergy with assassination mastery which further amplifies all our poison effects. Running the Naya Soulbind, Sepsis will grant us a large bulk of mastery, further amplifying our dot damage performance. Septic Shock Conduit will buff our Sepsis poison damage. Well Placed Seal will add even more nature damage to our target. And Poison Katar buffs our Phantom Knives even further. Together with the tier set, which is going to not only amplify the damage of your poisons and bleeds, but also your vendetta will cause your enemies' afflictions of dots and bleeds and poisons to suffer him even faster, effectively turning your damage over time spells into some valuable burst. Earlier in the weeks, Blizzard did nerf the Assassin's Rogue tier set for PvP specifically the Vendetta portion of your tier set bonus, but it's still one takeaway from the amazing burst that Assassin's Rogues can execute in arenas and battlegrounds. The next class on this list is going to be the Elemental Shaman with the Kyrian Covenant, which recently did see a slight nerf for PvP, though with these changes the Kyrian Totem can still prove to be quite overwhelming. Naturally, Shamans as a class have an affinity for PvP, since their critical strikes do more damage than any other class in the game. Together, the Kyrian Covenant Vesper Totem ability and the Kyrian Unity Legendary offer some of the biggest bursts within PvP. We'll also be further buffing Vesper Totem with the Kyrian Elysian Dirge Conduit. This build will heavily focus on crit. This is why we'll be playing the Clea Kyrian Soulbind in order to increase our crit chances. For this build, we'll be running the talent of Echoing Shock as part of our burst, but also to proc the Equilibrium Legendary for even more burst damage output. We'll also be using Stormkeeper to chain lightning bolts back to back at our target. Because of the high likelihood for crits, you'll be running the Sky Fury Totem to amplify your crit damage even further. Affliction Warlock saw a new playable build for the patch 925 with a brand new PvP talent of Shadowfall. Shadowfall grants you a stronger version of the Nightfall talent, which grants you a stronger, much more consistent Shadow Bolt damage. This opens up an opportunity for Affliction Warlocks to craft a build where Shadow Bolt can hit harder than a Chaos Bolt. To achieve this, you'll run the Malefic Wrath Legendary to directly buff the damage of his Shadow Bolt. The Necrolord Covenant, which further buffs the damage of his Shadow Bolt through Decimating Bolt. The Necrolord Unity Legendary, which further buffs Shadow Bolt damage and makes it a guaranteed crit, which makes it extra deadly. Together with the Conduit of Withering Bolt, Shadow Bolt will do more damage for every dot on the enemy target. Since we are of the Necrolord Covenant, we also get access to the Merilith Soulbind, which gives us access to Preemptive Strike as well as the Kevin's Oozling trait for even more passive damage output. But even though Affliction tries to mimic the damage of a Chaos Bolt, there's nothing quite as good as the Chaos Bolt itself. 
A destruction warlocks are still reigning chaos in the batch 9 to 5, even though their tiers are so a slight nerf, mostly towards their control, but it doesn't really take away from their impactful damage output. To make this version of the warlock build work, we'll be using as many talents and abilities that further amplify our critical strike chance, as buffing our crit directly affects the damage bonus of our chaos bolts. This is why talents like Dark Soul Instability will directly contribute towards our overall Chaos Bolt damage. And the Madness Legendary directly buffs our subsequent Chaos Bolts, though with the 2-piece series of bonus, it's a lot easier to set up for double Chaos Bolt windows. Playing the Night Fae Covenant, the Unity Legendary for that Covenant can grant us even more bonus Critical Strike, and playing the Corain First Strike Conduit can set up for some impactful PvP swaps and burst. And finally, we have the overwhelming power of the Necrolord Warriors, who could deliver absolutely crushing damage in the patch 925. And a lot of your burst happens inside of your Reckless Abandon window, which modifies Reckless's even further to empower Bloodthirst and Rage Blow to hit harder and ultimately overwhelm your target. The Talent of Cruelty will buff the damage of Rage and Blow even further. And so will your tier set, buffing the damage as well as granting you extra Rage and Blow charges. Those same Rage and Blows can also send you into Reckless Abandon, granting you random moments of fantastic PvP burst. And we gotta pair the Fury Warrior with the Necrolord Covenant to gain the ability of the Necrolord Banner, which further buffs your mastery, amplifying your damage further while enraged. Running the Banner Conduit grants you a large amount of strength inside of your overwhelming burst window. Together with the Merileth Fleshcraft Mastery, the Preemptor Strike Burst Rate, as well as the Kevin's Oozling Damage Support. We'll be running the Tormented King's Legendary for a chance to proc Avatar inside of Recklessness to add on even more damage output. For PvP talents, you'll likely run Warbringer to add even more damage upon charging to your target. But in some select situations, you may even be able to run Deathwish, sacrificing a portion of your defensive power for a proportional amount of offensive output. And that's going to be the full list of the classes with the most bursty PvP potential in the patch 925. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you planning on giving any of these classes a try for the patch 925 yourself? Also, what are some of the other bursty classes and builds that we haven't mentioned in this video that definitely should be part of the list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single live stream and video, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or discuss with the other members of the community what you think about the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.